Greg Gutfeld's criticism of Kamala Harris touches a nerve, highlighting the urgent need for authentic and consistent leadership. He portrays Harris as someone who, lacking a core identity, is inconsistent and unreliable, a depiction that resonates with many. You know what? I think we're I think we're making a mistake when we're talking about changing opinions. You don't change your when you change your clothes, you don't change your opinion. And for some people, it's no different than changing your clothes. Kamala Harris is an amorphous creature that conforms to whatever environment that best suits her. So one minute she could say, I'm going to bail out protesters. And the next minute she could say she's a prosecutor. She didn't have beliefs to begin with. So the idea that we're sitting here talking about, well, she changed her belief here. She changed, she found, she realized, no. Those, to her, those aren't even part of her life. It's just, that's why she's laughing all the time. Because she says, like, none of this stuff matters. But remember what she said about Joe Biden, when she said that I was a little girl in the bus, and then he, and then people said, why did you say that? She goes, it's a debate. So it, none of these, none of these positions that she takes are actually meaningful. She has no beliefs. She doesn't need any beliefs. She is no different than Joe Biden, selected to be slotted into this machine mm -hmm. and do exactly what they're supposed to do to maintain the status quo. That's all it is. It's amazing that a month ago, uh, you know, that debate exposed probably the biggest political scandal in moder modern history. Right? They covered up a president's dementia. Then three weeks ago, we had probably the biggest security breach in, in decades, an attempted assassination. And yet without doing a thing, Kamala is the story. She's done nothing. She said nothing. Yet she is the story that tells you that the machine is doing all of it. She's just a constant variable. It doesn't matter. She's having fun because she knows everything is taken care of. Right. She's like a tourist in the backseat of a Vegas limo with a roadie Long Island iced tea on the heading to the casino to play with the house chips. Right. But the Republicans and this is the key point. They have to show up because the fact is, if you do not confront the Democratic Party with the dementia cover up and who participated in it, which was her. You she's going to get away with it. They were driving full speed into that story. And if the Republicans don't confront them and say she was behind this because she knew she would get the nomination, she knew she would get the nomination if this happened, if they covered it up. That's the story. Goodfell's comments suggest that Kamala Harris lacks true convictions and consistency in her political stance. The public is inclined to agree with his assertion that she adapts to whatever is politically advantageous. This portrayal paints Harris as a politician, driven by ambition rather than principle, fueling criticisms of opportunistic behavior in politics. Gutfeld also criticizes the media and political machinery that shield Harris and Joe Biden from scrutiny, suggesting that mainstream organizations are neglecting their duty to hold Democratic leaders accountable. Focus is placed on the authenticity and integrity of Harris's actions and statements. Gutfeld's claim that she lacks true faith is seen as a critique of her genuineness. The public values authenticity and the courage to make choices that reflect one's true self over succumbing to external pressures. Gutfeld's argument is that Harris does not live authentically, instead shifting her positions to fit her political needs. This perceived lack of authenticity is seen as a significant flaw. By depicting Harris as an amorphous creation, Gutfeld implies she is so adaptable that she lacks a core identity. While adaptability can be a necessary defense mechanism in the complex world of politics, it can also signify a lack of stability and consistency which erodes trust and credibility. The laughter that Gefeld often references is interpreted as a coping mechanism, perhaps to deflect criticism or mask the discomfort of an inconsistent stance. The public appreciates Gefeld's critique, seeing it as a reflection of their own concerns about Harris's authenticity and credibility. His words reinforce suspicions that Kamala Harris is merely a political tool, lacking real commitment to any particular beliefs and this perceived inauthenticity is a serious concern.